I don't really know where I am right now. I think I do. Let's talk about January. This is actually the second time I've tried to film this video. The first time was on Monday, and I ended up saying a whole lot of stuff without saying anything at all. I was just way too rambly. So I thought today I would try to make a song, and after each part, I would answer a few questions. First, I wanted to talk about my experience with January, and then we can dive into some questions. I was out on traveling for the holidays, and I thought, you know, it would be a fun thing to do is make a song every day of January and call it January. Ah. I got back to LA January 2nd. I got in that evening. I had already missed two days. I was on the fence about doing it at all. On the third, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna set up a camera, I'm gonna record a couple of these, just see what happens. So in about 20 minutes or so, I had three little jams ready to go, except for a little bit of editing. Now I was all cut up, so I had no excuse to not do it for the rest of the month. And the rest of the month was pretty blurry. I released 31 new songs in January, and I think up until that point I had released publicly like 15, 16 or something like that. Throughout January, I pushed myself harder than I've ever pushed myself, and I think I also came up with some of the best music I've ever written in my life. Let's try to make some drums. Let's go to our tape, track one. We're gonna record the drums. Let's try to make some hi-hats happen. We're gonna record this at a little bit lower of volume than the kick and snare. I guess that constitutes as the first part being done. Let's jump into the very first question. On Instagram, In Paints asked me, how did you create every single jam? Did you take some inspiration or is it just improvisations with sounds? For pretty much all the music I make, I mainly just improvise with sounds. I'll hear a chord or I'll hear a, a little bit of a drum beat or a, just some random sound and my brain will just start going from there and building stuff up. So that's how most of January worked as well. But there were a few days where when I used samples, those days I guess you could say I was inspired, but even then I would record those samples and get those all prepared and I would just improv off of those. All of the music that I listen to is kind of inspiration. If I like it, there's like some sort of filing cabinet in my brain that keeps good sounding chord progressions. When I hear one chord, I can immediately start hearing other chords that sound good with that one. Hope that answers your question. Let's move on to adding some more music to our little song we're building up here. So we're gonna go into track two. Let's try to find some chords. This may or may not sound good, but we're gonna record it and see if it works. I guess we've got uh, our second part finished, so let's move on to the second question. Underscore nit Nitja underscore Nitja from Instagram that kind of suggested maybe we can start another challenge called finish February to finish an EP in February I do like this idea. I do think I'd like to try to make that happen I'm gonna take some of the favorite ones that I made that kind of got overlooked closer to the middle or beginning of the month along with the ones that became much more popular towards the end of the month combine those into a maybe five or ten song EP and I've never actually taken music from the OP1 and mixed and mastered it. So I think when I do that, it would be a fun little experiment to show you guys the process and what I learn along the way. Well, it might not happen in February, I do believe that that will happen sooner rather than later. Let's move on to the second part we've got, or the third part, I guess I should say. We've got drums and we've got chords. Maybe we can come up with a bass line now? We're gonna try to record this bass line and hope for the best. I think that covers us for the third part, which means we can go to the next question. Double Trouble DD, also from Instagram. Well, they didn't really ask a question, they just said, 
February. So I am going to take that to mean that uh, you want more jams. Correct me if I'm wrong. The daily jams will be coming back. Tuesdays and Fridays will be a YouTube, and every other day besides that will be a jam. And the plan right now is to start doing that on February 20th. So February 20th should be the day the jams start coming back. Mark your calendars. Be ready. My lighting is all wonky, so I'm gonna go find another spot. I never come to this park. Um, I live basically less than a mile from here. I always go to the one with the water, um, but this one's really quiet. This seems like an okay spot. Here's the funny thing. I was pretty much finished with this song, but something about it seemed off. So I'm redoing the drums, and with that I have to redo the bass. So let me record the drums and then we're gonna redo the bass. I feel like I got bugs crawling on my neck. If you're wondering why I'm scratching so much, it's not because I'm withdrawing from heroin. Let's try to redo the bass. Changed the bass, since I changed the drums, the lead also had to change. It's the nature of making music. You write, and then you rewrite, and then you rewrite until it sounds groovy. Now I'm gonna try to re-record the lead. Let's go to track four. Try it again while hitting only one note at a time. Guys, I think we made a song. It took a while, there were some mistakes, and I had to go back and backtrack, but I think it sounds pretty cool. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please click like down below because it actually does help me out a lot. Also, subscribe if you're into what I'm doing here. I'm gonna be releasing videos every single day starting on February 20th. I'll be back next week on Tuesday with another 10 minute Tuesday. But until then, I will see you uh, on the internet. Thanks for watching.